guys, today I'm making a more serious video because I've been doing a lot of thinking and there's a lot of advice that I wish was out there when I was younger that I haven't seen videos on, I haven't heard people talk about, and so I want to shed light on some of these things because I feel like if I knew these things when I was younger, it would have helped me a lot my artistic journey so maybe it'll help you guys out there or if it helps at least one person that would make me so happy so i have five different pieces of advice i want to share today starting with number one if you want to be an artist you will find a way to make it happen don't listen to other people who tell you that you can't do it now growing up a lot of us believe that authority figures like our parents and teachers have our best interests at heart and you know for the most part they do they tell you to get good grades study hard do what you're supposed to do and you'll be successful. That's what I was told my whole academic life, and I'm sure a lot of you were as well. The thing is though, I knew from a very young age that I always wanted to be an artist. When I started high school, I got to attend an arts-focused charter school for my first couple of years, where instead of being supported and encouraged by my teachers to pursue art, I found myself in a unique situation. These teachers ended up telling me to stop pursuing my artistic dreams. You should give up. Be more realistic, they'd say. It didn't work out for me, and it won't work out for you. You need to go into the sciences or math. Do something with more financial stability. Now looking back, I'm sure that these teachers were just speaking from their own experience. I'm sure they didn't mean to be hurtful and they were just looking out for us. Maybe they weren't able to make a living selling in galleries. Maybe they try really hard to follow their dreams of being an artist and it didn't work out for them. Maybe they had high hopes, just like me, only to fall on hard times. I deeply wish that I could go back in time and stop myself from listening to this though, because there are so many ways to be an artist these days. There has seriously never been a better time. There are so many opportunities. You can open an online store. You can create entertaining social media content, sell at in-person art events, teach art classes, the possibilities are endless. Now, that's not to say you won't have to take a few jobs you don't like here and there to support yourself, but that shouldn't discourage you, especially if you're truly passionate about an art career. The second piece of advice I'd like to share is that nobody's going to do the hard work for you. A good artist both practices consistently and steps out of their comfort zone when necessary. While I mentioned that there are so many possibilities for people in this day and age to become successful and happy artists, there's a lot of work that goes into it. Just because it's possible doesn't mean that you won't have to put in a lot of hours. Start owning your craft today. Even if it's just a quick five minute doodle every day, you're way ahead of the version of you that stopped practicing altogether. See, when my teachers told me that I should stop trying to pursue a career in art and focus more on math and science, that's exactly what I did. And you know what happened? I stopped practicing all the time. I used to practice for hours when I got home after school and I could see the improvement in my art. But since I stopped completely, I wasn't improving. If anything, I was forgetting how to make art. So if I could go back in time and tell my younger self anything, it would be to just practice just a little bit every day. It doesn't have to be a crazy amount. It doesn't have to be overwhelming. But even just a little doodle in your sketchbook will make you farther ahead of the version of you that didn't practice at all. Are you somebody who wants to sell your work in person, but you're really shy and the thought of talking to strangers makes you nervous? You shouldn't let that fear hold you back. It's important to take steps out of your comfort zone in order to grow. To be a better artist means to practice regularly, but also to try things that we don't know as well. Whether that's attending in-person events or classes, or even trying a completely new art form that you've never attempted, like crochet or pottery. Trying new things is how we learn and grow, not only as artists, but as people too. And nobody's going to do these things for you. Nobody's going to hold your hand and show you the way. Now that doesn't mean you can't ask questions. You should absolutely ask questions if you're not sure of something. But the responsibility is on you. You can't just wait for the right moment. You can't wait for inspiration to strike. You have to start. The third piece of advice I'd like to give, and I highly encourage this because it has honestly changed my life is to keep a personal sketchbook that you take everywhere with you 
and I mean everywhere. I cannot recommend this enough. If you get in the habit of bringing a sketchbook with you everywhere you go, you can jot down those ideas you had the moment that they pop into your head. You can make a quick doodle while you wait in line at the grocery store. A quick sketch of the person sitting across the room at the restaurant as you wait for your food. A doodle of someone's dog at the park. And funny enough, the more that you practice this, the more that you find inspiration will strike. And the less weird it'll feel. It becomes second nature, like muscle memory. And the satisfaction, the dopamine rush you'll feel when you complete a sketchbook and look back on all your drawings. You'll be able to say, wow, I completed this whole thing. And that positive experience will make you fill up sketchbook after sketchbook. And next thing you know, your art skills have strengthened so much. The fourth piece of advice I'd like to give is to experiment experiment, and when you're done experimenting, experiment some more. Now, please don't only use graphite and make pencil sketches in your sketchbook. I'm not saying you can't use graphite at all, but try other mediums as well. Charcoal, marker, colored pencil, watercolor, gouache, acrylic, oil pastels, chalk pastels, all of these materials add a completely different appearance to your drawings. If there's anything I regret from my older works, it's that I rarely colored them in and I never tried new materials. The truth is, you may discover something about yourself and see your style develop much further if you try different forms of media. Oil pastel, for example, might teach you how to practice more loosely and appreciate capturing the colors or a fleeting moment in time. Whereas, say, Colored pencils might teach you to appreciate the subtle changes in value when you're creating a hyper-realistic piece. And then the fifth and final piece of advice I'd like to give today is that if you're in school studying art, whether that's grade school like middle school, high school, or college, please don't focus so much on grades. If anything, I'm a firm believer that artwork shouldn't receive grades. I know that might sound strange, but I have a really good reason for why I feel that way. See, art is not a subject like science or math with concrete answers or final solution. Grades stifle our growth because they don't allow for experimentation and play. In order to learn and grow as artists, we need to try out new things, which may or may not provide the results that we want in the end. School should be a place where students studying art feel safe trying different things to see what happens and not focusing so much on a score at the end. Because ultimately, students will feel like they have to stay inside their comfort zone and never try anything new because they know that they're going to get the grade they want if they do that. In the long run, way past graduation, it would be much more valuable to try something new and learn the results of it rather than play it safe. So instead of worrying so much about grades, I mean, I wish that we didn't have to have grades in art classes, but instead of worrying so much about whether or not you get an A, just worry about how much you're learning. Is the route that you're taking teaching you something, even if it's the more difficult path? So those are the five pieces of advice I have for you guys. Thank you so much for listening. Did any of these resonate with you? Were any of these new to you? And if you have a piece of advice, I would love it if you would share it in the comments. Alright, that's all for now. Bye guys, see you in the next video.